Hey guys, my name is Alexis. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to take pictures of your flower arrangements and how to create like an aesthetically pleasing Instagram. If you love flowers like I do, follow my flower Instagram at flowersbyalexis and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. So without further ado, let's get into it guys. Hey guys, I just got home from the flower market and now I have all these lovely flowers in my kitchen. I got all of these flowers from Trader Joe's for less than 30 bucks. I really like the angle of me looking down at the flowers, so I took a couple photos of that. I recommend taking pictures in a room with a lot of natural light. Good lighting will help bring out the natural colors and beauty in the flowers and will make for less editing time later. Hand holding flowers is a popular photo you'll see of mine. I like to place my flowers off center so you can see the background. Speaking of backgrounds, I like taking pictures on solid color white backgrounds. Flowers come in all different colors and I don't want my background fighting with the flowers. Also, it's just easier for me to find white backgrounds. So once you get enough pictures of your flowers before arranged, now it's time to arrange them. To watch me create this, click the link in the right hand corner. Also, all links will be in my description box below. Now that your arrangement is made, I like to give my Insta followers a sneak peek. To do this, I take close-up pictures of different areas of the arrangement. Again, don't forget good lighting and be mindful of those backgrounds. Take pictures of your flowers on different angles. Don't forget to flip it around and get both sides. Comment below which side you like best, A or B. If you're taking pictures outside, avoid being directly in the sunlight and instead right after a rainstorm or on a cloudy day. This will help balance out the colors in the pictures. Use the rule of thirds to create fun, unique photos. Use different angles to create your own style. If you're taking photos of yourself and have no help, take videos instead, then pause the frame and screenshot the good photos. What you're going to do is you're going to strike a pose, hold it for a few seconds, then change your pose, hold it for a few seconds, and then change your pose. And you're going to keep doing this until you have enough photos that you think are good. I find that I get more likes when I have me and my flowers in the picture. If you don't already post yourself on your Instagram, you need to start doing that. People respond to people. It's more of a connection, so get up there, put on your best smiling face, and say cheese! If you're not ready for all that, then do something more mysterious, and maybe take pictures of, like, your top half and below. I also recommend taking your photos, like, first thing in the morning, so that way there's not a lot of people out, so you don't feel weird, like, posing in front of a camera and people walking by. If people do stop you while you're taking pictures and ask what you're doing, I usually just tell them I'm doing it for my college photography class. Once you've taken enough video with different angles and poses, go through the video and screenshot the good still shots. Now that you have a decent amount of photos, it's time to edit. If you want, I can make a video on how I edit my photos, I recommend making your own Visco preset and then editing all your photos using that same preset. If you don't know how to make a Visco preset, go on Pinterest and look up Visco presets and find one that works for you. And don't be afraid to come up with your own special preset. Remember, it's all about being unique. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow my flower account at Flowers by Alexis, and I will see you all next week. Bye.